Defective batteries are one of the most common causes of breakdowns. No wonder, because a lot is demanded of a battery these days. More and more electronic systems in the car, CO2 saving start-stop technology where the battery provides the complete energy supply while the engine is turned off. This is particularly hazardous if the number of short trips is high because the battery then loses more energy than it can recharge back from the alternator. High and low temperatures also affect the performance of the battery. The ideal operating temperature is 20 degrees Celsius. Especially in summer, high temperatures accelerate possible aging reactions. At low temperatures in winter, the chemical reaction rate is reduced which can lead to a reduction in performance, especially in aged batteries. And last but not least, long stationary periods also lead often to a low state of charge in the battery with all the annoying consequences. Here are a few tips to prevent that. If you use your vehicle rarely and only for short distances, use as few electrical systems as possible. Then the generated energy is used to charge the battery. When the vehicle is stationary and the engine is off, do not use any electrical systems if possible. These put a lot of strain on the battery. If the battery does go flat, the only thing that helps is jump-starting the vehicle and driving to the nearest workshop to determine the cause. The most important thing in advance, the assisting and broken down vehicle should not be in contact, otherwise there is a risk of a short circuit. First, the clamp of the red cable is attached to the positive terminal of the assisting vehicle. The other end of the red cable is then attached to the positive terminal of the broken down vehicle. Then the black clamp is attached to the negative terminal of the assisting vehicle and the other end of the black cable is connected to an unpainted metal contact away from the battery of the broken down vehicle, for example, to the engine block. First, start the engine of the assisting vehicle, then the engine of the broken down vehicle. Removal of the clamps is then carried out in reverse order. Charge the battery before and after long stationary periods either in the workshop with a professional charger or at home with a charger for home use. To connect the charger to the battery, first connect the red cable to the positive terminal. Then connect the black cable to an unpainted metal contact away from the battery, for example, the engine block. After that, you can connect the charger to the mains. When charging is complete, first disconnect the charger from the mains before disconnecting the cables from the battery. And last but not least, visit your trusted workshop for regular battery tests. There, charging can be done via a professional battery charger. Or if necessary, a new high-performance battery can be installed.